Hello, Munir Ajam speaking uh, with another video on our project management series. Today I'm going to talk about uh, the feasibility studies for projects. Now, uh, the concept of feasibility study is not something that is discussed in, in guide like the Pumbaa guide or IC21500 because the assumption is that this work is done pre-project and the PMBAC and ISO focus on uh, basically the project once it is ready for authorization when the organization are ready to initiate it through a project charter or a similar document. So things like the feasibility study uh, are usually pre-project. Uh, that doesn't mean, I mean, obviously, uh, you can have differences of opinion in here, whether you would agree it is a pre-project. Obviously, if you agree with the concept that the charter is the document that authorizes the project as a starting point, then technically, of course, the feasibility study and the concept for the project which come before uh, would be considered pre-project. However, if you accept the... Uh, the school of thought that says, like what we subscribe to, is that the project starts with an idea and the feasibility stage is a stage in the project life cycle like any other stage that have to be uh, managed like any other stage. Uh, it has to be initiated, it has to be planned, it will have to be implemented, controlled and closed using the ISO terms. So what is the feasibility study? Um, if we step back for a second and look at is that why organization, government, private, NGOs, whatever the case might be, why do they launch project? Why do they pursue project? What we find out is that there are many reasons, of course. Uh, however, there are usually uh, two major reasons. Uh, one, it's either the organization is responding to a threat. So basically, whether it's a competitive threat, economic threat, uh, security risk, if it's government, whatever the case might be. So there is, there is a threat, maybe a danger of an earthquake or hurricane. Um, so again, regardless what the reason are, there are potential threats. And therefore, organization could launch project to deal with those threats potentially to minimize their impact or to put uh, measures in place to help avoid or uh, at least mitigate uh, the threat of those things that could happen. The other way is that usually organization pursue project based on an opportunity. It is an opportunity if it is uh, an organization that is for profit, maybe there is uh, entering a new market, uh, developing a new product, basically increasing revenues. And if it is government or NGO, there are maybe an opportunity to serve the community uh, or serve the citizen and whatever the case might be. So many organizations, uh, usually if they launch project, they are usually launching and respond to a threat or to capitalize or exploit an opportunity. Then by default, any project, a new project idea a new project initiative is by default an uncertain event that has risk with it. And by risk, we mean threats and opportunities. So organizations should conduct, or we say must conduct, a feasibility study. And the purpose of the feasibility study, it, is, will, be, it will be like the first risk management exercise that the organization should be doing to look at, at the project, product scope, the project scope, what's required, what's need to be done, what are the justification, what are the specific risks in terms of threats and opportunities that could happen on that project, ultimately to decide if this project, if they find, if they feel, the feasibility team believe that the threats on this project or the chance of a loss or failure is high, which means the threat are too extensive for the organization to be able to handle. Obviously, in that case, the project would be stopped and canceled and, fee and determined that is not feasible. On the other hand, 
of course, if the feasibility team believe that the project it has risk, despite having risk, and which means threats or opportunities, the organization is capable of dealing with those risks and threats and opportunities and will be able to deliver the project successfully despite those potential threats. In that case, the organization ideally would approve the project uh, or would determine, let's say before we approve the project, they would determine that the project is feasible yeah, and that means they would propose that to go ahead with the project assuming the project is a priority. Now, when organizations approve this type of project, they are not saying we have solved all the risk, we have managed all the risk. What they are saying is that, look, we understand every project has risk. However, we believe we can manage them and still deliver the project successfully. Therefore, the purpose of the feasibility study, and per the camp model, the feasibility study has 14 components, uh, that basically is to look at the project cost, uh, schedule, location, market research, financial models, uh, sustainability, and all of these evalu uh, items that the organization should consider and evaluate during a feasibility study. And the idea here, we want to look at all of these things to help us determine if these things would help uh, us minimize the threats and maximize the opportunities, or would uh, uh, be able to uh, look for things that could increase the threats, maybe, and how can we deal with them and manage them in order for us to determine, again, if the project is feasible. So we have to look at all these considerations, but primarily with every evaluation, we want to look for the things that could hurt us and the things that could help us. At the end of the day, it's like we are on a scale, yeah? Uh, obviously, if the positive things are uh, are more uh, have more value than the negative stuff, then obviously we can maybe determine that the project is feasible and should proceed, uh, hopefully, uh, and allow the project team to proceed into developing the project further and maybe revisit that decision, make the decision later to decide whether the project should continue or not. So, to conclude this discussion. The feasibility study by default, by definition, is the first major risk assessment that is done on the project. And based on that, we can decide to avoid the threats, meaning canceling the project, or exploit the opportunities, meaning approve the project and proceed. Thank you, and have a great time.